When the pandemic first hit, many people found themselves with a lot of extra time on their hands. And what better way to use it than giving a furry friend a new home? Adoptions, you might remember, started soaring. But now that people are heading back to work, they have to find a place for their pets to stay while they're away during the day. And that's a great thing for one local doggy daycare. Whereas News 8 Now's Cade Overton explains, business is booming. <laughs> Dogs have always been man's best friend, but now that many people are returning to their normal work lives, they need a place to stay. Fun Fur Pets is a doggy daycare that has been around for nine years, and even though business took a huge hit during COVID, they're now busier than ever. Daycare numbers are actually higher than they were pre-COVID. Uh, nationwide pet ownership is up over 30 percent so we are seeing those effects with our daycare numbers. Eve Molzon has seen a lot of dogs as the owner but she has never had to take care of this many dogs at one time. Before daycare we were averaging right around 90 to 100 dogs a day and now we're averaging between 100 and 130 dogs a day for daycare. Even though business is booming Taking care of more dogs makes things difficult without the right staff. We have added actually six additional staff members. Despite the increase in dogs and work that comes along with it, they want to make sure the service they provide is just as good. I just really appreciate how well they treat my dogs. You know, I feel like, you know, I'm really happy coming here and they do a good job with the dogs. Even though dropping your dog off at the door may leave some a little nervous. Good boy. But at Fun Fur Pets, they take care of all dogs like it's their own. It's playtime inside. We do go outside for our potty time, and then we encourage napping uh, from one to three. Making dogs feel at home. Thank you You're so welcome. much. Until it's pickup time. Weekend. Kate Thank Overton, Thanks, News guys. 8 Now. Well, Molzon also says that she's already raised prices once during COVID, and she may have to raise them again just because there is a lot of demand for doggy daycare.